Hey guys, Spencer RC here. Just wanting to do a quick review on the CC3D Micro or the Micro CC3D. And I want to go over this because I bought the King Kong Force 200 kit for my Hobby King Color. Just kind of a quick, easy build. And I could not find anything on this Micro CC3D. And I was a little frustrated with that. But. Lucky for you guys, I'm going to do this quick review so you guys have a little bit of a head start. Alright, so on this micro we have, let's see, about six different ports. And the one that we're most concerned about here is the one that's right above the USB port. So that's where we're going to plug it into the computer and do all the configurations and stuff. The one right above that, the fatter one, it's going to come with a couple different connectors. And that is the port that we're going to use to plug in our receiver, all of our um, connections. So that's the one you need to be most concerned about. That's the one you need to use for your input. Um, and then, beyond that, these are your ESCs. And the kit comes with some of these extra cords here. These can be used at a later date for telemetry, potentially, or GPS and stuff like that. Um, in the description, I'm going to have a link to what all these other ports are for, but that is the most important one, just to get your quad up and flying. You have two right here on this side and two on the other side, but again, that's the one we're worried about. CC3D Micro is set up just like a regular CC3D. I was worried that you have to set it up differently or something, but you just plug it in to the computer and Libre Pilot will detect it and once that's detected you can just go through a regular old setup and that's it guys it's it's really not that difficult so if you have any questions please feel free to comment and I will get back to you guys but until next time good luck and have a good time flying out there